Hi, and welcome back. I'm continuing my series investigating the exceptional performance of the NXP Gigahertz crossover microcontroller MIMX RT1176. My projects are based on the development board MIMX RT1170 EVK. In today's video, I'll start to investigate graphics and HMI with the RT1176. I'll be using a software tool, GUI Guider, the little VGL graphics library, and a template project from the 1170 EVK's SDK and MCU Expresso. The RT1176 has a number of features enabling very high quality microcontroller graphics, and these include 2 megabytes of on-chip SRAM, that gigahertz performance from the M7, an external memory interface and OctalSpy interface, and a multimedia block with MIPI DSi and a 2D graphics processing unit. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the IMX RT1176 CVK with MCU Expresso IDE, MCU Expresso SDK, and the GUI Guider Graphics tool to develop a simple touchscreen graphics example on the EVK. Let's turn to the graphics resources that I'll be using in this example. And I like to generate a resources folder, which contains all of the required information and files that I'll be using in the project. You can see we have a collection of icons, a photograph that we'll use as the background in our example, and I like to define a color palette. And I normally do this in a PowerPoint slide called palette. Let's show you that here. So here's a color palette that I'll be using in the project and the colors have been chosen to complement this background picture that I'll be using in the project. Well, first of all, let's turn to MCU Expresso and open the example GUI Guider project from the SDK. I have a new workspace and it's named GUI Guider Tutorial. And as you can see, I'm using MCU Expresso IDE version 11.3. Dot one. Let's switch to the IDE main view. And here we can see the empty workspace. And also down in the installed SDKs panel, we can see that I'm using the SDK version 2.9.2 .2 for the RT1170 EVK. Well, let's import the template project for GUI Guider. And that's in the SDK. Let me filter for the RT1170, click on the photograph and next. And the project is named Little VGL Guider as a GUI Guider example. And I'll be using the Cortex M7 in my project. We select a project and finish to import it from the SDK into my workspace. A number of files are copied over. And this is a blank template example for the GUI Guider, which runs on the EVK. And it's a very simple project that just displays a workspace on the screen with a single button. We can use this as a foundation for any other GUI Guider project. Well, here's my open project in the MCU Expresso IDE. The project is named EVK MIMXRT1170 Little VGL Guider underscore CM7 and as always contains a source folder, a boards folder, a devices group, drivers, and of course the source code for little VGL. One folder that we'll get from the GUI Guider tool is the generated folder, and this contains the source code and the header files and the screen representations that we'll develop in GUI Guider shortly. This is a free RTOS application, so in the outline view, let me switch to main. We see our normal MCU Expresso SDK structure with configuration, board setup, and creating a free RTOS task named little VGL. The scheduler begins and we will call the app task where little VGL is initialized. The screens are set up 
and we'll get into this loop where we hand all the tasks to develop the screen. Okay, well, let's watch that in action. We can build the project Well, now that we have an output AEXF file, let's download that in a debug session to the board and we'll see our first GUI guider screen. Probe discovery as always. And we enter our debug session, nothing more to do than just to resume it. And let's look at the screen. Here's our first GUI guider screen. Well, it's a funny little image running on that beautiful large MIPI display. Let's go and make the MIPI display do something a bit more interesting. And for that, we'll need GUI guider. I'll stop the debug session. And let me close this GUI guider example project. We won't need that again. And while I have MCU Expresso open, I'm just going to import a cloned project. Now, all I've done is I've cloned the existing GUI guide or example that we've just seen and given it a new name. And that project name is Half Dome Sky. I've got that template project in my resources. Here we are. It's a zip archive of the project. Half Dome Sky. Let's import that. Now let me stress this is just the little VGL guider project that I've cloned and given a new name. It does exactly what we saw before. Okay well now we can switch to GUI guider and start to build our screen. The details of GUI Guider is covered in the next video. We use that software tool to develop and test the screen and output source code for the MCU Expresso IDE. I trust that you enjoy these tutorials, and if so, please share them, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be continuing this project in the next video. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.